Let's take a look at two brand new racks made by HyperRax. Now HyperRax is a company that I recently did a review on one of their really cool e-bike racks. They have a really cool proprietary system where the whole entire rack mechanism will tilt so you can load your e-bikes really easy. Let's start off by building the brand new SP model. This particular model is going to hold up to two bikes. It can hold all the way up to 80 pounds per tray for a total of 160 pounds. So you pretty much can hold any style e-bike out there. Now pretty much the install process is the same across all the hyper racks, rack systems that they've got. The best way to do it and the way they explain to do it is to install it on your vehicle. You'll start with the hitch piece. The next thing you're gonna actually add the base to it. And in this particular case, the base on the SP model has this really nice hydraulic lift to it. This is one of the new things that was added to the SP model that the last model I reviewed didn't have. Now the 1X model that you'll be seeing in this video also, it doesn't actually tilt or fold, so it doesn't have any type of mechanism like this. Now after you get the trays fully assembled, it's time to actually install them on the rack. This is super easy. You're gonna have one big bolt that's gonna go through there and that's gonna basically be the pivot point of this rack. Now after you get the trays installed, you're gonna have to install the middle arm. This is gonna actually hold down the bike against the trays whenever you're going down the road. Now this particular rack has a two inch receiver hitch. It is not designed for an inch and a quarter. So the only way that you'll be able to use either one of these racks that I'm reviewing today is if you have a two inch receiver hitch. Now the SP model is specifically designed to be used on a class three hitch or higher. So it's made for heavy duty trucks and SUVs. Before you go install your rack, you're gonna see that this has a threaded hitch pin bolt. Now, one of the benefits of this is that you can tighten this down and it'll prevent the rack from actually wobbling as it's attached to your vehicle. Now, one thing I do recommend after using several rack brands with different threaded hitch pins is get yourself a 19 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Now, the SP model has this hydraulic lift that we saw earlier, and this makes it really nice whenever you go to raise this rack up it locks it almost into place and prevents it from wobbling back and forth, but gives it a nice, smooth, controlled action. Now, one other thing, the SP model will drop all the way down where you can open up your tailgate or your hatch. Now, be very careful because I found on my truck, a 2011 Tacoma, it actually hits just a little bit of the plastic. So whenever I set it down, I have to be very careful. I was hoping that they would have had that resolved from the last rack, but it looks like they still need to lower it down just a tiny bit. Now the center arm does lay flat. It's a pin system, so you can take this in and out for storage or for whenever you're going down the road. Really nice setup. You can raise and lower these arms, all depending on how many bikes you have on there. And it also has a lock for each arm. That's one thing that's really nice about this rack is you have a lock for the hitch and you also have a lock for your bikes and they use the same key. Well, let me show you an example of how this system works. You just basically undo a pin and you can drop these trays down, giving you a nice ramp to be able to load your bikes up in. Now each tray has these adjustable straps for both your front and back tire that you can tighten into place and then pull the strap tight and it'll lock the bike down. Now the SP model has this really nice plastic handle that locks it into place. And you can easily tell whenever it's locked into place because the handle will be pointed down and you know you're ready to load your bikes or go down the road. Now I found that each tray system looks really, really nice. I really like the reflective stickers that they put on each tray. So a car can see you from the side or from the back. It makes this bike rack a little safer going down the road, especially at night. Now here's a good look at each one of the trays. It's got a nice deep V and a channel in there for any water to be able to go down through. But the big benefit of this wide channel is you don't have to worry about your wheels popping off of this tray and it can handle up to a five inch wide tire. Now, as you can see, HyperRax really does do a nice job with the coating that they put on the outside of this. It looks super durable. Now I'm gonna load up my daughter's bike here. This is her Truxus. This bike weighs close to 70 pounds, I believe, maybe a little bit more. 
And as you can see, with this tray system, it makes it super easy. Now, in general, this system doesn't work with a step through bike. You normally have to have a special arm to go across to be able to lock these bikes down. But this particular Truxxas bike has a big enough down tube with the battery in it to be able to actually work with this bike. So some step throughs will work, but HyperX on the safe side says it's not specifically designed for step throughs, but you can get those special bars that will allow it to work with this rack. Now, after you get it locked on there and you get the bike tightened down in place with that middle bar, you just need to go around and tighten up each one of the wheel straps. And they do include these nice little extenders. So if you have a fat tire bike like this, you don't have to worry about the strap being too short. And this particular bike is just a standard analog mountain bike. So as you can see, this will work for any type of bike, no matter what. With the bikes on, you can actually lower this down so you could get access to the bed of your truck or open up your hatch. Really nice feature. And it's relatively easy to push back up into place thanks to that little hydraulic arm. So now that you've seen a lot about the SP model, let's take a look at the 1X model. It's almost identical, except this doesn't pivot up and down and it only has one tray. I'm a big fan of single bike bike racks. I use one daily on my truck. They're just super easy to load in comparison to putting it in the bed of your truck or on a tailgate pad. So naturally, this is one of my favorite ones that HyperRax actually makes. I think it's super cool. It's got that awesome tilt feature, holds one bike nice and securely. So both the SP and the One X come in at a fairly reasonable price for the premium product that you're actually getting. The SP model is gonna come in right under $900. And as of recording this, the One X is currently on sale for right at $600. So I took both of these racks out on the exact same route, and I like to watch how much movement actually occurs with these racks. Traditionally, a two bike rack is gonna have a little bit more movement, and I was really happy with the minimal amount of movement that is on both of these racks. Holding over 120 plus pounds worth of bikes, this two bike rack was rock solid. I had zero worries that this thing was gonna come off and my bikes were gonna be on the road. It is a quality premium product. And then whenever I got to the one bike rack, I was not surprised at all at how good this bike rack actually is. A one bike rack is a lot easier to stabilize and it performed absolutely flawlessly. This held the bike just as secure and still as some of the premium brands that I've reviewed on my channel. Now there are a few extra things that you get with these racks that I really appreciate. I love all the locking mechanisms. Not only can you lock the arm down on the bike, you can also lock the hitch, but they also include a cable lock that will lock the bike down to the rack. This is a really nice feature that a lot of rack manufacturers out there sell separately, but HyperRacks actually puts this in the box for you. Not only that, you get a couple of extra straps to strap the bike down to make it even more secure. I feel like it's a little bit of an overkill, but you can never have too much security on your bike and having an extra strap that they included to tie it down even more. Why not? I'll go ahead and take it. And another thing that's really nice, if you're concerned about any of the touch points that are actually touching your frame, damaging the paint on your frame, HyperX does include these nice little pads that actually Velcro onto your bike to protect the frame from any possible scratches that could happen. Now, this is limited to a 48 inch wheelbase, which should fit most modern bikes these days, especially e-bikes that a lot of people will be using this bike rack for. And also, I might have mentioned this before, but it does hold up to 80 pounds per tray, which is a massive amount of weight. Most e-bikes come in under that, so you should have no problems with whatever bike you're looking at purchasing to go along with this rack. Now, these are also designed to work with RVs. You can put this on a two inch class three or higher receiver hitch and know that this is gonna be safe and secure on your RV trips. Now I'm gonna put some links down below so you guys can pick up your Hyper Rack bike rack. All right guys, if you enjoyed this content, click that subscribe button because I have more bike rack reviews coming your way. And also hit that like button that really helps push this out to the algorithm. But as always, get out there and ride your bike.